Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, so, there was a long introduction about us already, so i just keep it short. My name is Roshan. Uh, I'm actually the president of Malaysian Underwater Hockey uh, Association. Uh, also the national head coach and also still an athlete uh, competing underwater hockey representing Malaysia. Uh, I'm also in the World Federation as the uh, assistant director uh, of developing underwater hockey and my focus currently is developing the sport uh, all around Asia. Uh, right? oh. So uh, today I'm actually representing a Malayan Sub Aqua Club, MSEC in short. Uh, it's actually the oldest uh, diving club in Malaysia. Uh, it was formed in 1959. Same year, the World Federation was also formed. Uh, a little bit on the history of MSEC, and now I'll share with you a little bit of what CMAS is about, which is the World Underwater Federation. Uh, also about our annual objective, what we do at MSEC, uh, and also to introduce our sports division, because every time when we come to uh, my day, we only see everything about technical scuba diving and free diving. But I would like to introduce to you guys as well what other underwater sports we have at the world level. And uh, what's next for MSEC? So, yeah, like I shared, we were formed in 1959, uh, being the very first uh, diving, uh, scuba diving club in Malaysia, or the diving community. And uh, we are affiliated to uh, CMAS Worldwide, which is the World Fed uh, Underwater Federation. Uh, a little bit on CMAS. Uh, it was formed in 1959 by uh, uh, this person or diver from France. Uh, it's the confederation of all underwater activities. So they have three branches there. You have technical scuba, uh, you have sports division, and you have the scientific research division. Uh, CMAS is a non-commercial entity. So it's pretty much just associations and federations uh, from all uh, there's about 136 uh, affiliates worldwide. Uh, it's recognized by the International Olympic Committee. So it's the only one underwater federation recognized by the IOC. Uh, headquarters is based in the IOC office in Rome itself. Uh, yep, I've already mentioned that, three major branches. And they regularly host world championships. So if you are a scuba diver and you're planning to venture into sporting side to do some kinds of underwater sports and you would like to represent Malaysia at the world level, uh, you need to be affiliated with CMAS. Uh, so the humble beginnings of uh, Malayan Sub Aqua Club, it was formed as a non-profit entity and mainly to encourage uh, activities of scuba diving in Malaysia. Uh, we aim to raise awareness and uh, establish CMAS uh, in Malaysia as we are the only uh, representative for CMAS Technical currently. And uh, it's similar to BSEC, NAWI and all the other uh, dive federations out there. The future, we want to make it easy for uh, people to come and participate in CMAS-based uh, scuba diving. Uh, and also in uh, CMAS Sports as well. And we want to return the good times. We want you all to enjoy your scuba diving experience. A uh, little bit about underwater hockey. So underwater hockey was formed in 2019, but it originated in Malaysia in 2016. So originally there was only three Malaysians playing the sport. I'm one of them with two other of my friends. And in 2019, it became a little serious. The sport was listed into uh, Southeast Asian Games, Sea Games in Philippines. So we had to officially form the national body, uh, recruit athletes, develop, and we sent 24 athletes to the Southeast Asian Games. Uh, we got number four. We came back, we continued developing. Currently, we have about 224 recreational athletes and 54 national athletes in the development program. So when I say development program, we have under 15, under 19, and above 19, which is the elite team. 
but we also have athletes as, uh, as young as six years old. So we currently have uh, two active uh, state affiliation. One is based in Kuala Lumpur, the other is based in Selangor. And uh, we were the first to organize the World Underwater Hockey Congress last year and the very first format of a 4v4 international club championship. Uh, I'm also proud to say that this year Malaysia will be the host for the 6 CIMAS age group world championship which will be happening uh, on the 16th to the 27th of July. And we have also secured the bid to organize the very first uh, elite and masters uh, intercontinental qualifiers for Americas, Oceania and Asia which will be done from the 1st to the 9th of August next year. Uh, on the 2026, we might be organizing the Asia Cup as well in Malaysia. And uh, one good thing about uh, this association, it's fully operated by athletes and passionate people. And we are all youth. Uh, and it's very self-sustaining. The association didn't have any government funding, so we develop it in such a way that it's self-sustaining on its own. Uh, currently, the training base is based at Ta University in Stapa. A uh, little bit to add on, uh, most of our youth athletes are also under scholarship programs in Malaysia and also overseas. So if you are a national athlete, you do get scholarships to join universities and even international schools. Uh, for this year, uh, World Championship, we have two divisions, which is under 24 and under 19. We have four categories for men and female included. We have 11 countries coming in with 35 teams, which equals to 420 athletes, 105 officials, which are the team managers and coaches, and we have 32 international referees. And we are expecting close to about six to 700 spectators coming into the country. So my aim here as the president, uh, not only to develop the sport, but I'm trying to push in sport tourism as well. So this event will roughly generate close to 10 million in sports revenue for the country. So, what's next? MSEC is pretty much going with the flow. Uh, we are going to be developing, so these are some of our big announcements which we are making here at uh, My Day. The first thing, we are expanding our sports division. We are coming out with underwater rugby. Uh, the only other Asian country which currently has underwater rugby is pretty much Singapore. So, Malaysia will be the second. And uh, we are looking at anyone here who is interested to come and join us and help us set it up. And we are also looking to expand. So currently, CMAS or MSEC is actually a club. We are looking at setting up, uh, commercializing and setting up partnership with uh, dive centers. So if anyone here who is interested to become a, a CMAS dive center, do come and check out our booth at B25 here. And uh, we are also active on social media. You can uh, check out both the Facebook page, Malayan Sub Aqua Club, Malaysia Underwater Hockey Association, and our Instagram, Malayan Sub Aqua Club, and UWH Malaysia. Uh, yeah, so do visit our booth. That is wrong slide. So our booth number is actually B25, not uh, 34. Uh, and I would like to pass on here to Mr. Zaki to share on his experience. Thanks, Roshan. So uh, I, I did ask Roshan, you know, actually, what do I say about 35 years of diving in Malaysia? Uh, and he just said, show a lot of nice pictures. So uh, maybe I'll stand because <laughs> you can't see the pictures. OK. Yeah, yeah thanks. Uh, yeah, pygmy seahorses come in red mostly. I can manage to get the yellow ones, uh, Rajampat. Uh, so the club itself, uh, oops. Okay, um, this is the uh, AGM about 20 years ago. Okay, and uh, you can see various uh, people. So diving as a club is very different from commercial. Uh, we dive with friends, you dive with people you know. You dive with people you train with, uh, and uh, everyone are, are friends. And then when you go on trips, uh, it's a very different experience uh, when you dive as a club. Uh, this was the club's 50th anniversary. As you know, we were formed in 1959. So 2009, we were in Mataking. 
um, and uh, a whole bunch of people there enjoying uh, 50th anniversary dive. Uh, that's inside, they had a welcome for us there. So we used to train in uh, what was Club Shabas in PJ. This is way more than 20 years ago. Uh, and uh, this is uh, previous club instructors who were training and qualifying people on CMS certification. Currently, we trained uh, in a few places, uh, one of which is uh, Divers Den in PJ. Uh, those are instructors and the class, this is 2020 class, I believe. Uh, and then we go for various trips. This is old trips, new trips. Uh, I see some young faces there. Where's Alex? <laughs> looks very young there. I think he looks a lot more white hair here. Uh, this is Finlow, a uh, British diver who dived with us for a few years. Uh, that's a labor boat, boat uh, a kid's boat, which was, uh, what was it called? <laughs> Safari shark now. <laughs> okay. And this is uh, Tengol's uh, trip for the students. So more old pictures, yeah. Uh, this was Tioman. You can see how clear the water was in Tioman in those days. Current dive trips, Tangol. Uh, we actually have a clubhouse, our own clubhouse in Dungun. So uh, the club regularly uh, dives Tangol. There's also other reasons which I'll get into later. Yeah, and of course, food is a very important aspect of the club. This was a Bali dive trip to, uh, I think it was Komodo. So club trip as well. Few faces there which has left us, sadly. Uh, this was Alor, I think, and that's Raja Ampat. Uh, this one, I think there's a talk tomorrow. Uh, this is Triton Bay, uh, Raja Ampat uh, area. I'll get to the nice pictures soon. Uh, divers under, our divers underwater. Okay. Pygmy seahorses over the years, uh, various poses and various different types of uh, pygmies. Uh, there's other pygmies which I haven't shown. Whale sharks, this is Nabire in Indonesia, which is Irian Jaya, also called Papua New Guinea, uh, West Papua. And they are very big there. So what we see here are babies. But uh, Indonesia, you get gigantic whale sharks. That is a 100-foot perahu. And they still call the same name as in Penang. They call it Bagan, 3,000 kilometers away in Papua. So they swim below the Bagan. There's like 7 to 10 of them. And they get fed uh, ikan bilis by the fishermen. And then uh, you just dive below the bagan. So this is all below the bagan. You can see the prahu here. Okay. Between 50 to 70 feet long. Uh, Club Passion, New Debranks. So can't do a presentation without showing the Club Passion. And of course, just now we had heard that Trungano is your main dive destination, Pulau Tenggol to us is the New Dubrang capital. You get New Dubrangs in Pulau Tango, which you don't find anywhere else uh, in Malaysia. Yeah, Indonesia, yes. Some unusual ones, Turidela. These are all Tango New Dubrangs, yeah? Uh, Odontoglagia, with a long tail. So you do find all kinds of New Dubrangs. Uh, in Tangol itself, yeah, over the years that I've dived. And depending on the season, depending on the salinity, depending on the water temperature and time of the year, you will get most new dubranks that you can find elsewhere in the world in Tangol. And that's a festilla, it's a phylodesmium, uh, which I, I haven't actually identified which phylodesmium is not the usual grey one. It's a colorful one. 
uh, Mileri mating, you can see the connection there where the eggs uh, get exchanged, egg packets. Uh, various species of Elysia that you find in Tangol. Yeah. A recent find, uh, which I've never managed to find in Tangol for 30 years of diving, but uh, the dive guide for our regular shop that we go with over there, Chek Wan Sukuba, their instructors are especially good at finding rice grain sized nudibranch. So this is rice grain size. Sagaminopteron psychedelicum. Uh, there's another, yeah, this is a different one. Yeah. Uh, the common name, I think, is Batwing Nudibranch. So, again, uh, Tokon Timor, Plotangol. Uh, bubble shells, very shallow, but you do find them in Plotangol. You can find bubble shells there. Very colorful creatures. There's soft shell inside the. Uh, Office to Brank, not strictly a new Brank. So there's three of them there. And your common new Branks that you find almost all dives, the big ones, yeah. So these are normal big ones that you, you find yourself easily without the help, help from the dive master. Uh, uh, mating again, uh, Chromodoris boloki. Uh, mating as well, uh, this is Nembrota linealata. And other macro stuff, uh, decorated crabs coming out in Komodo. Very colorful stuff, uh, and night dive. Yeah. Uh, in Indonesia, you do get this mantis shrimp. The peacock mantis shrimp, and they come out uh, and show themselves. Whereas in Malaysia, you find them hiding in a hole somewhere. This one, they freely come out and look at you. Uh, yeah, the old picture. Um, very lucky to get this shot after taking 10 snaps and uh, no touch up. <laughs> no Photoshop, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is the last picture, or last one or two pictures, I think, yeah. Uh, this was Alor, uh, Nemo City, with uh, a fisheye shot with a uh, yeah, fisherman on top. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you very much. That's 35 years of diving with MZ. So, MZ is a good club to dive with. So come dive with us. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so that's a little bit of uh, Malayan Sub Aqua Club and Simas. Uh, I just want to reiterate here that Malayan Sub Aqua Club is the only body in Malaysia which is affiliated to Simas to issue certifications for technical scuba. So if there are people going around, we have had previous incidents where people go around and they say that uh, they are from Simas and they are able to issue you certifications, do come to our booth and clarify and check with us because there are a lot of incidents where they give you a fake certification. Uh, there is another entity which is also CMAS affiliated but is sports orientated but not scuba. So, yeah, uh, feel free to come and visit us at the booth and get more info. Thank you. Thank you.